What's up guys, Sal here. So a few days ago, we got to see some numbers related to the performance of the new AMD GPU that will eventually debut on the Galaxy S22. Apparently, the GPU will overtake competing products in peak performance, but adds that the performance will be throttled by up to 30%, presumably to prevent overheating issues. But despite that, it manages to be the current flagship Mali GPU as well as the next year's Mali GPU. The Galaxy S22 will launch in January next year, so there's plenty of time for AMD to fine tune the chipset and better manage the heat generated to reduce throttling. Anyway, a lot of people were asking when Samsung is gonna lift the curtains on its custom AMD GPU. Well, the GPU was reportedly due to be unveiled in June itself. However, the launch has now been postponed to July according to Ice Universe. He claims that Samsung will reveal details about the performance of this AMD GPU on Exynos in addition to other details about the chips next month. Interestingly, AMD has already revealed a couple of key features which include ray tracing and variable rate shading which will take smartphone gaming to a whole new level. With that being said, smartphones have grown in size considerably. The majority of people are okay with it, but there are also continuous calls to bring back compact form factors. So Apple responded, they launched the iPhone 12 mini to cater to these vocal audience who wanted a small screen yet powerful handset for so long. But turns out this vocal audience is a vocal minority because the iPhone 12 mini has failed miserably in terms of sales. And that's the reason Apple has now decided to completely stop the production of the iPhone 12 mini entirely. According to multiple credible reports, the iPhone 12 mini has reached end of life status earlier this quarter following weak sales. Though you can still buy the phone on apple.com until the current stock lasts, once it's gone, the phone will rest in peace. Honestly, I'm not really surprised that there's not much demand for a mini phone. I mean, there's a reason we don't see mini phones these days. You see, smartphone users are consuming more content on their devices and therefore want bigger screens to enjoy it. I don't think it's a bad thing that the company is introducing a smaller phone. Kids and other people with small hands, casual users, or people who use their phones in active contexts. I imagine a restaurant manager, for example, navigating a busy environment with a small phone tucked into their pants pocket will clearly benefit from the smaller device. But you see, a mini phone caters to a niche market. If the screen is smaller, multimedia enthusiasts won't be satisfied. It's far easier to consume multimedia content on YouTube and Netflix with a bigger phone. Being limited to the lesser device was a real frustration for many users in previous generations of the iPhone. Many people who optioned for better specs have probably been conditioned to using the larger sizes and it might be hard to go back to smaller size screen. Apple thought they would get away with launching a mini phone because they have a lot of sheep, but clearly that didn't happen. Despite all of this, Apple will still launch the iPhone 13 mini later this year, but will of course make significantly fewer units than the 12 mini. And next year, they will abandon launching mini phones altogether. Of course, with that being said, do let me know what you think about this down in the comments. And as always, I'll see you tomorrow. Peace out.